Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to our ninth annual Veterans Day ceremony. And if you would please stand for our Salem County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard. It's a little awkward at first, but trust me, if Bill said it, it's right. <laughs> Please join me in the uh, national anthem. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance Just to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Good morning. Before I pray, I want to do three things. First of all, I want to thank Margaret for doing this for these nine years, and we hope she'll continue, maybe triple that before it's over with. And then I want to recognize if there's any of the steering committee here uh, that uh, helps put this together. I uh, just raise your hand, Merle. And we appreciate that. And also, I want to remind you of something that's going to be taking place pretty soon here in Alloway. Is our, and there's flyers out at the table. Is our annual Christmas lighting contest. The judging is on the seventh. It kind of comes early this year, and we're doing a little something different. Also, we're asking families to either purchase or make a family ornament that we can put on our two trees out here and put your name on them and we'll keep them and have them up every year and uh, so we hope you can bring that in flyer i'll tell you all about it let's pray father we do thank you for this occasion that we have to honor those that have served in the military and are serving in the military and those that have given their lives for our freedom. We stand here today because of what they have done for us and continue to do. And so we thank you for the privilege of honoring them. We pray that you'd bless in the remaining of the ceremony today. Guide us. We pray also that your blessings upon each family and each one that is here today. In your name, amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Jim Witt. All right, and next we have a really cool presentation by our Alloway Township 
Girl Scouts Troop Number 94082, and their Scout Leader Michelle Williams, and their Co-Leader Aaron White. Okay, here they come. Use. Thank you very much for that. That was such a great when I email that I got that you guys were presenting that to the township. So thank you so much. And here we have our mayor Ed McKelvey to speak to you. Uh, Margaret Margaret has me down here as remembrance to do a remembrance. I want to. I want to tell you how special it's been 
being able to take part in these ceremonies. It's wonderful. It's an honor. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to uh, pay tribute and honor to the veterans that have served our nation, our township, our country, and has get, have given us the right to honor our flag. I think of uh, some of the things our nation's been going through recently, where I didn't, I didn't see anybody, didn't notice anybody having a problem with the flag being flown or the national anthem being played. But I, I appreciate the fact that our veterans have sacrificed so that you could have the right not to salute the flag. However, just because you have the right to do something doesn't mean that it's integrity, good integrity, or character to cash in on that right. I want to uh, applaud our children that are here today that have done an outstanding job in patriotic uh, symbolism for our nation in providing this box. When they came to the township committee about putting together this box, we were in awe of the idea because it's a wonderful thing that these children are being taught the importance of our nation and defending our nation and the symbol of our flag. We appreciate you and we applaud you very much. Thank you. I've got many remembrances of veterans coming home from Vietnam and all that. I've told those stories before. I don't want to bore anybody again. But thank you for your service. Those of you that have spent years, months in harm's way, and that doesn't sound very bad, harm's way, in bad places. Those of you that have been out to sea, underwater, for many, 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 many months at a time, that have not heard from your family or friends for many, 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 many months at a time, the sacrifice that was made, babies that were born while you're away, parents that maybe went home to be with the Lord while you were gone, and you find out after the fact. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done so that I could stand here in a free nation and address everyone. Thank you very much. We appreciate all that you've done for this great country. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Merle, did you want to say anything today? Okay. okay. And now I would like to um, introduce our featured guest spe speaker, which is Lester Sutton. And he's going to come up and share with us. Thank you. And doesn't he look good? <laughs> Mr. Mayor, you said everything I'm going to say, so thank you very much. Now, you know I'm not that easy to get off the stage. Good job, Mr. Mayor. Um, I'd like to thank Margaret for giving me the honor of being here today. Margaret and I, go, we go way back. Not, we're not going to count the political world, but I guess that's all the way back we went. It's and a we, world. It's a world, it's yeah, a world. And, and I've come to understand her much better, and she myself probably. And uh, thank you for all you do. It's a wonderful thing. Look at all the people here today, Mark. Now, I know this is a Veterans Day, but there are some people here today that have served our community as ex-mayors. There's quite a few of them. Would you stand up, please? Oh, just like that. They always listen, don't they? Hey. Ed. Okay, now we'll get into it. Uh, she, she didn't give me any time frame, so I got about an hour and 45 minutes, so <clears throat> we'll go from there. And, and since our VFW passed 
Since our VFW past post commander, Lieutenant Colonel Gwen Powers Atwell is here, I must tell you that my speech today was written by the VFW. And if she wasn't here, I'd have made it look like I knew what I was doing, but uh, she's here. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the fighting of World War I ended in 1918. Due to the conclusion of the war to end all wars, November 11 became a universally recognized day of celebration. In legislation that was passed in 1938, November 11 was dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. This new legal holiday honored World War I veterans. In 1954, after having been through World War II in Korea, the 83rd United States Congress, at the urging of the Veterans Service Administrations and organizations, amended the Act of 1938 to, by striking out the word, word armistice and inserting the word veteran. So now we have Veterans Day. With the approval of this legislation, November 11 became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. A day to honor all of our veterans who selfishly placed their lives online for your freedoms, who have served and now serve in uniform as well as those who died in service to this great country. Those men and women were ordinary people until they heard the call of duty and answered it. They left their families, their homes, and their lives not for recognition or fame or even the honor we bestow upon them here today. They fought to protect our country, to maintain our way of life. Thomas Paine said, those who expect to reap the blessings of freedom must undergo the fatigue of supporting it. Very much true today. Many of you here today have borne that burden and experienced the fatigue of waging war in order to bring about peace. Would the veterans please stand up? Please rise if you're a veteran. Thank you. Thank you. To you and I, a grateful nation, say thank you. Thank you for setting the example that inspired me and my generation and generations to come to join hands in voluntary and in some cases Involuntary service to this great nation. There was a draft at one time, so there. Mr. Osborne, how? That shared service joins us together, together like no other bond. The camaraderie we share in military service helps define us. I can honestly say that the time I've spent as a member of the United States Coast Guard is the best of my life. Even after I left the Coast Guard, it stayed with me and helped me define me until the day I die. Veterans Day serves a very important purpose. It is a day we recognize not just those who had given their lives in war, but all that who have worn the uniforms of service. This day, above all, is an opportunity to celebrate the choice one makes to serve their country. For some, it meant the world conflict of World War I, II, or a lifetime of peacekeeping missions, or the tense standoffs of the Cold War. Others, in the jungles of Vietnam, or in Korea, Panama, or other conflicts in which we have asked our military to serve over the years. And of course, we can't forget that today, for many, service means multiple tours of Iraq and Afghanistan on active duty or as reservist, and guard members who sacrifice twice when they give up their civilian jobs in order to serve our country. Roughly 1% of our population serves in the military, and as we consider the impact these individuals have had on the world, defending freedom and protecting democracy, Winston Churchill once said, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. So today, to honor that debt, I would ask you to take time to honor service members past and present in at least one of several ways. First, you can volunteer to help a veteran or service member, regardless of whether you are a veteran or not. We have many wounded veterans in our world who need your compassion and your support. Find a way to help them, whether through veteran affairs or state and local government outreach programs. Given that we are a nation at war today, there are many families and communities all over the country who could use a helping hand. For many of those on deployment, knowing that their families are receiving support while they are serving in the armed forces can bring reassurance and peace of mind. 
There are dozens of ways you can show your support to our nation's heroes. These men and women serving now face many problems we never had to face. It makes me beam with pride when I encounter a soldier, a sailor, or an airman who is now serving or just got out of the military. They are now all volunteers so young, like we were, so dedicated and so willing to sacrifice for their country. Second, make an effort to promote military service for our youth. And finally, if you are a vet, please share your stories with others. Big thing. Let everyone know what you've done so they can see the many faces of military service and appreciate the personal sacrifices and services of their neighbors. If you are not a vet, find someone in your life who is a vet and ask them about their service or simply say thank you. Or you could join a veterans organization that allows you to meet up with those who served during the times of service you were in. It allows you to participate in services designed to celebrate our nation's solemn veteran-based holidays and help those veterans in need. The more we talk about what we do and the impact military service has on our lives, the better able we are to hold up as examples of excellence. We've got another hour, okay? Okay, you're good. You're good. We have many, many examples of courage. I'm on the last page almost. We, are, we have many, many examples of courage, service, and sacrifice to reflect on today. Let's use this opportunity now and on Veterans Day in the years to come to celebrate service to our nation, to demonstrate the appreciation we have for our military, and to inspire future generations to dedicate themselves in the name of the many who have come before them. See, I, he would use my phone, but I'd, I'd have lost it a long time ago. And lastly, as Thomas Jefferson said, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. Today we give thanks to live in a country where citizens from every generation willingly and courageously raise their hands to stand the watch. For all those veterans here today, thank you for your service and your sacrifice. I share the pride you feel in being to count yourself among that 1%, the greatest military in the world. For all those not in the military, thank you for choosing to share this special day with us and show your support for our heroes, heroes past and present. Thank you. Thank you, Lester. And as always, I have an invited guest speaker of Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Abbott that I don't know if he has anything to share today, but I know that he attended today. <laughs> there you are, buddy. <laughs> Slow, well. that's the way it goes. Oh, right? yes. You have that right. Oh boy. Have that right. I want to thank you for all your efforts and magnificent things you do for all of us, and especially this group. And what I would like to do is extend my heartfelt thanks to all of you who have served or support all of those who do serve. We are eternally grateful and obligated to you because you are the people that we serve in this life, in this world, in this country. And at the risk of being trite, I say God bless America. <clears throat> Thank you for your support and good living and enjoy the life. <laughs> I, um, I now want to ask if anybody, Chick, has anything to share or express today. Maybe. Okay, Gwen. I didn't want to push it, you know. Here she is. 
veterans. Thank you. It's hard to follow that American hero back then. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Ladies, thank you. Um, poppies were great Memorial Day. I'm still wearing out not today because it's not Memorial Day. But I want to share with you that we, as, as a VFW in Salem, if you need a place to deposit those, we do have a list, uh, a, uh, an inferno type of thing to, to uh, properly dispose of those. And I want to invite you to five day as we take care of them also. And just real quick question, where are they going to be? Uh, I think we're going to keep it in, in the building for now. In the building. Everybody hear that? In the building here? So dispose your flags. Uh, lastly, I just want to say thank you, everyone. Um, I had the best job in the world. I'm still serving. Uh, I'm a reservist, uh, lieutenant colonel, like the colonel back there, but I certainly am not the hero that he is. I have had the opportunity to take care of veterans from the Iraq and Afghanistan war. Some of those veterans are also Vietnam veterans. And when I came off the plane, I had a go to people that the USO uh, assembled and clapped while we came off the plane. And I want to welcome you home, Chick, welcome you home, Colonel, and welcome you home, Lester, and any other Vietnam veterans that are in this audience today. Thank you, Gwen. I did want to say we have active duty people in our brick walkway today, which is very exciting. We have, and we have their family here. We have Dakota, and her, his mother's here, and grandfather, and I think Aunt Dawn is here, too, about Dakota Gumminger, who's in the Coast Guard. And you can read all about Dakota. And then we have Mikey. And, and I hear that I messed this up a bit about his accomplishments, he's not an Eagle Scout. That's what his mom told me. She wanted me to know that. I have, well, we corrected Mark, who was in Iraq and not Afghanistan. And I have one of a Vietnam veteran, Donald Massey. And I don't know where his family is. Is that? There you are. There you are. And we. We were kind of last minute getting this brick in for Donald, but we thank Bill Nickel at Chick's Bricks for getting that in for me. So, oh, and did you read the veterans in the news? There's Charlie Shute, Chick Osborne. They were in the parade. Oh, here she is, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Gwen. All right, <clears throat> this is a nice um, program. There's a brick form in there and a place where you can share the story of your veteran with me and we will compile the book. And this is what I wanted to read to. This is about a veteran from Vietnam, Larry Bell. Larry Bell is here and Clem Jamison gave me this story about Larry Bell. And I, I find this story so um, inspirational so it just tells the story. And there was a um, person in his unit who told the story about Larry. Larry was due to come home in September of 1969. Um, and he was killed on August 23rd, 1969. And a person who knew the circumstances wrote that Larry and Dev were company corpsmen assigned to 1st Pl Platoon Lima Company, 1st Marine Division. Both Larry and Dev were taken out of the bush and were awaiting R&R when word came that one of the replacements had been wounded. And this required that one of them would have to replace the wounded corpsman. And Dave and Larry decided they would flip a coin to see who would be the replacement. Larry won the toss, and Deb was going to go join the company um, the next day. And so Deb came down with diarrhea during the night, and Larry took his place.
The next day, Larry was on patrol with his platoon. The platoon was patrolling near a rice paddy, and in the heat of the day, the platoon commander decided to rest his troops under a shaded area near the rice paddy. It was there that a remote controlled detonating device was set off. All members of the platoon were fa fatally wounded except for one sergeant, and that sergeant, badly wounded, crawled back to the company area, and other platoons were sent to retrieve the bodies. And that, and this is Larry Bell, and he's from Alloway. And he is loved, and he was cared for by people here, and they were waiting for him to just nearly get home, and he didn't make it. And that's why I love this saying, we don't know them all, but we owe them all. And I think that with, so we can all stop and just think about Larry and everybody else who doesn't make it home from war. And this is Larry. Anyway, I thank you all for joining us today. We have refreshments over in the museum, thanks to Barb and Jim Witt. And um, before we go, though, I do have a few photo opportunities here. I would ask that veterans stay around, the steering committee stay around, and my absolute favorite is that I have a mayor's photo to take because we have Ed McKelvey, we have Lester Sutton, we have Ed Masker, we have Dale Smith, and we have Rex Cobb. And we are missing Joe Fedora today. But Merle's going to stand in for Joe, and I'm going to Photoshop Joe's face. <laughs> because we know how to do that. There we go. Anyway, yeah, anyway. I thank you all very much, and God bless America. Thank you, guys.